In this video, we are going to solve a previous gate problem in stability analysis. So, you can observe the problem. This is given in gate 2002 for 2 marks. The characteristic e polynomial of a system is Q of S is equal to 2 S power 5 plus S power 4 plus 4 S cube plus 2 S square plus 2 S plus 1. So, that is nothing but characteristic polynomial is nothing but char characteristic equation or expression. The system is if that is the characteristic equation or characteristic polynomial of a system then the system is stable or marginally stable or unstable or oscillatory. We need to uh, get a proper option suitable to our characteristic equation determining our control system. So, whenever they are asking in terms of stability means definitely we need to uh, consider the route array. The best way is to consider the route array. So, here I am having my characteristic equation to write route array. I am just taking a line like this and in front of the line from maximum power of s to minimum power of s I am going to write like this. So, maximum power of s there is s power 5. So, in descending order you just mention all s powers s cube, s square, s and s power 0. I mentioned all s powers here and now how we need to fill the first row, two rows of router array means by using the coefficients of the characteristic equation we can fill the first two rows of router array. So, like this I am filling so a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6 like that we need to fill the coefficient starts from here 2 and the next coefficient is 1 and next is 4, next is 2 and another one is 2 and another one is 1. So, 2, 1, 4, 2, 2, 1. So, I completed my route array. I completed all my coefficients. So, I completed my route array. So, here you can see to get this point you need to multiply like this 1 into 4 minus 2 into 2. Oh my god. So, this is equivalent to 0. So, we got 0 here. Now, here I am going to get the other case. So, here that means I am going to get the other term. So, here to get this term. So, we need to operate these two elements with these two elements again 1 into 2 minus 2 into 1. Here also I got numerator 0. So, 1 into 2 minus 2 into 1 divided by 1 that will be equal into 0. The value here can be calculated by using again first set and the cross set to here. There is no cross set like this. So, that is why you just imagine 0 0 1 into 0 minus 2 into 0 divided by 1 that will be equal to 0. This is under second case of special cases in route array. We already discussed special cases of route array. Just go for that videos and you can consider that procedure. That means whenever your total line is equal to 0, total row, one total row of your route array is equal to 0. To continue route array, you are having some obstacle there. So, to reduce that, the procedure is you need to consider the just above line to that. So, you need to form that as auxiliary equation. So, auxiliary equation power must be always even. So, that means for example, if this is 0 line, the next above line you need to consider. So, you can write this equation as s power 4 2 s square into 1 s power 0. So, the auxiliary equation is s power 4 plus 2 s square plus 1 into s power 0 means 1. So, if you observe the powers I consider only even powers in the auxiliary equation that is the mandatory condition when you are considering the auxiliary condition because so this is an even line even powers. So, now here what the next procedure you need to do is you need to differentiate d by ds of a of s. So, you are going to get 3 s cube plus 4 s 
is equal uh, that d by d s of this one will be equivalent to 0 3 s cube plus 4 s. So, after differentiating whatever the coefficient you got you need to replace here. So, you just take out this in place of s cube just take out this line in place of s cube you just consider this coefficients s cube quotient 3 s quotient 4 and uh, we are not having any other coefficients. So, that is why we just limit to 3 4 0. So, now here to get s square again do the same procedure 3 into 2 minus 1 into 4 6 minus 4 2 divided by 3. So, 2 by 3 will be this value. So, 3 into 2 6 minus 4 by 3 6 minus 4 by 3 means 2 by 3. If you want to get this value then you need to operate this set with this cross set. So, 3 into 1 minus 1 into 0 divided by 3. 3 into 1 3 minus 0 by 3. So, you are going to get 1. To get this value you do not have any cross set. So, you are going to get 0 here. And now to get this s value, so I am doing this. So, 2 by 3 into 4 minus 3 divided by 2 by 3. That means 8 by 3 minus 3 divided by 2 by 3. What will be its value? So, if I cross multiply 3 3 is 9, 8 minus 9. So, minus 1 by 3 divided by 2 by 3. So, this is equal to minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. The value here is 0 because the cross set is 0, the value here is 0 and here also 0. Coming to the constant value, so here the constant value is equal to the constant value in the characteristic equation. So, constant value in characteristic equation is equal to 1. We completed the row array. When you got all zeros, you need to proceed this condition, this auxiliary equation and differentiation and you need to replace that all zeros with the differential coefficients. So, now if you observe the first column, one of the element in first column of Routh array is having negative sign. This will tell you the system is unstable system. Why? Because a system is said to be stable when all the first column elements in the Routh array are positive, then only we can say the system is stable. If any one of the element is in negative sign, then definitely we can say that is unstable system. How many poles are crossed the imaginary axis, axis to right side to make the system unstable means number of sign changes. So, here positive to negative, negative to positive two sign changes are there, maybe, maybe two poles are in the right half of S plane to make the system unstable. According to this analysis, the system is said to be unstable. I will tell you one more procedure to say the system is stable or not. So, according to auxiliary equation also, you can determine the stability. So, here this you just consider like s power 4 plus 2s square plus 1, s, is, s power 4 plus 2s square plus 1 is equal to 0 like this you just consider and you just get the roots for s. So, that means here I can write s square plus 1 whole square is equal to 0. If you expand this s power 4 plus 2s square plus 1 only you are going to get so, s square plus 1 is equal to 0, s square is equal to minus 1. So, s is equal to root of minus 1. So, this is equal to, so minus comes out, if minus comes out, you are going to get j plus r minus j. So, you are going to get plus r minus j. So, plus r minus j means here on the imaginary axis, here for example, if you are having imaginary axis, I am having plus j as well as minus j. You are having repeated roots on imaginary axis. When you are having repeated roots on imaginary axis, 
then definitely the system is unstable. When non repeated routes are on the imaginary axis, then we can say the system is marginally stable system. But when the routes are repeated on the imaginary axis, definitely that system is unstable. By that procedure or this is apt procedure, no doubt from this procedure, from this procedure or that shortcut procedure, the system is unstable system. That means, the system given with this characteristic equation is a unstable system. How many poles are in the right half of S plane to make the system unstable means I am having two poles in the right half of S plane to make the system unstable.